Hello everybody, it's Robbie here, and I have another Evan Moore product I want to talk to you today about. This is the Daily Word Problems in Math for Grade 4. And I wanted to take a look at this particular book because word problems are, of course, you know, practical application of the math skills that have been learned. And sometimes it's real easy to, you know, be able to do problems procedurally, you know, when you're working on a set of problems. Um, they're all similar in terms of the type of problem and you're just, you know, going through the motions. But when you actually have to apply it to real life uh, scenarios, it can be tricky for some people. And I was one of those kids that really excelled at math, but then you give me a story problem and I didn't know what to do. So I wanted to make sure that we had plenty of, um, you know, plenty of practice with doing word problems. And before I received this book, I thought maybe it was just going to be, you know, extensive lessons with multiple word problems per lesson and that sort of thing. And it's not like that at all. So this is very doable. It's very easy to incorporate into your existing homeschool. And I will go through a little walkthrough here. I'm not going to show you every page just because it's, you know, lots of word problems, but I will give you the layout and then we'll kind of look at some, how the progression goes in the book. It is, um, according to the cover here, it's a single and multi-step real world problems or it includes single and multi-step real world, real world problems, um, charts, graphs, and logic, number relationships, concepts, and operations, critical thinking skills, and scope and sequence is also included, and the answer key is in the back. These pages are reproducible. The license for these daily books um, give you the ability or permission to reproduce these pages if you have multiple students. And this is a teacher edition because it includes the answers in the back. So, if um, in some of the books, you know, there's some teacher guides and lesson planning and that sort of thing, this doesn't include that because really it, it's not a full curriculum. It's word practice problems. So it's also a new edition, completely revised. Um, if you go to the first page, it gives you a table of contents. There's 36 weeks worth of material. And yes, I still have black on my fingernails. I apologize for that. It is an oil-based chalkboard paint. I've got multiple projects that I've been working on here at the house. And we moved here a year ago and it's still had a lot of 80s decor. Still has a lot of 80s decor. And so I'm trying to update some things. And um, this stuff won't come off my hands. Um, I've tried mineral spirits. I've washed them multiple times. And I have showered. And it's still, or there's still remnants here. And so I don't need any comments that tell me I need to wash my hands. Okay, I just thought I'd throw that out there because I'm well aware it's there. It's just not coming off easily. And I don't really want to sit here and spend an hour trying to get it off. So anyway, um, so it, this contents page um, shows that there's 36 weeks worth of material here. And there's an answer key and a day-by-day -day skills list. This page goes into what is new to the revised edition, what has continued to um, be, um, what has continued from previous editions into this one, and then some tips on how to get the most out of your daily word problems. Um, it gives you an overview of what's in each of the sheets, and there's some instructions on how to use the book. There's some tips on how to solve word problems, which if you're like me and aren't um, or have struggled in the past with doing word problems, these tips are really good because you extract, you know, you extract the information that's that you know from the word problems and you write it down. And then there's there's some tips and tricks on how to write it down and how to how to figure out what to solve for and that sort of thing. Uh, there's a scope and sequence. Um, I don't want to go into all of that because there's quite a bit here, but I mean, obviously there's everything from place value to money and time, volume, shapes, angles, mass, um, uh, per 
perimeters, area, patterns, logic. So there's lots of things being covered here. I thought this was kind of cool. This is a little chart you can, these pages are perforated. Um, they're black and white. So they also sell a PDF version of this if you would prefer to just print them um, instead of duplicate these for multiple students. But this is kind of neat in that they can, the student can record their weekly progress in terms of how many they got right and then create bar charts. So if they want to chart their progress, it's another uh, way to practice some of the skills that they're learning and, and can practice, um, have been practicing in the book. Okay, so each page is divided into two word problems and each word problem is just one a day, which I, I really appreciate that. When um, I remember getting a page of five or six word problems and just be completely being completely overwhelmed. So I like that this is extra practice, but it's not an overwhelming amount. And if you have a student who enjoys doing these, some people look at them more like a you know a, a puzzle to solve. You know, and if they enjoy them, you can do as many as you want. Um, certainly, you can use this however you want. But uh, it is scheduled out for a 36 week school year, one problem a day and a uh, five day week. So there's two on a page until you get to day five and there's one on the page. They do give you room to work, but if it's not enough space, they may need in some cases a um, piece of scratch paper to work from. But I appreciate the fact that they give some workspace, <coughs> excuse me, so that they can you know, work within the book and not try to do it all in their head because they don't have room to write, and I've had that problem in the past with some um, with some books. There's not enough room to to um, write out the problem or solve it properly, and so I've got a student, uh, you know, who tries to do it in their head because they don't want to get up and go get a piece of scratch paper, and then they end up getting it wrong, not because they don't know how to do it, but because they just don't want to get up and get a piece of paper. So I appreciate that. And um, we're starting off with, um, it, it progresses. According to the book, it's progressively, it progress. I don't know why I can't talk today. It prog progressively gets more difficult. So in the beginning, we're doing mainly addition and subtraction problems. And then with a little bit of fractions here. And I like how on this problem, it's asking to color in the different types of birds with different colors so that they can easily see uh, visually how the, um, the chart would break down in fractions per bird type. And so anyway, um, it continues on again, uh, two problems per page until you get to day five, and then it's got um, one problem on a page. And keep in mind that you wouldn't want to cut this, although it's got a dotted line here, like, you know, it, you would want to maybe cut this page in half, but if you do that, you're gonna, you're gonna cut that one in half as well. So if um, a PDF might work better, if you want to just hand them one problem and not a whole page and then have to keep track of the page so that they could do the other problem on a different day, then um, you might consider the PDF version of this instead or scan it and then print it. All right, so here's some charting, uh, chart interpretation, data interpretation, I'm sorry, and some more fraction work. Let me kind of flip to the middle of the book and see what we've got going on there. So here it looks like we've got some multiplication involved here. We have some fractions here. some data um, analysis. Oh, I've got a Venn diagram here. And some questions about that. So it looks like it's, it's covering quite a bit of information here. You're not just getting the same type of problem over and over. Some more fraction work. Um, we have to create data charts and then answer some questions. 
some multiplication with money. This is a logical um, puzzle, a logic puzzle. Some more fractions. Oh, this is neat. This would be the canned eye coordination and fine motor skills practice. Perimeter. Some practice on area. So, and now we're getting into some addition, but with, um, you know, six digits. So, I think it's pretty well-rounded, personally. I think this is a fantastic way to practice real-life math. And even though it's not in color, there's lots of illustrations, the font is larger, there's not an overwhelming amount of text, and certainly not an overwhelming number of problems to do each day. This would flow really well into any curriculum that you're using. It's not a standalone curriculum, but would easily supplement anything you're doing. So if you're looking for a resource like this, if you have a curriculum that maybe doesn't give a lot of word problem practice, or maybe if you have a student that just needs practice in a very specific type of word problem, you can always use this scope and sequence chart to see what week the skill you're looking for falls in. And so you could literally pick and choose the problems that they do based on the skill that you want the student to practice. So I think this is a fantastic resource. And again, the answers are in the back, but this, the pages are perforated. You can just pull those out. Um, sorry, that's these. And then this is your day-by-day -day skills list. So this also could be printed and kept aside so that if you know you want a student to practice division, you can just scan this and find um, problems that are related to division, fractions, addition, subtract, whatever it is you're wanting to do. So that's a nice resource as well. And then of course there's a little resource, I mean a little chart here showing some of the other daily books that Evan Moore publishes. So that's a quick and easy overview of this particular book. So if you have any questions, let me know below. Evan Moore did send me this particular book in exchange for my honest review. And truly, I tell you what I think. And so um, whether they send it to me or not. And so if I've purchased resources from Evan Moore, which I have, um, I include reviews on those materials as well. So if you um, go look at my channel, there's actually a playlist of all my Evan Moore reviews that I've done so far. And so this one will be added to that list and I will add any other uh, future reviews on Evan Moore products to that list as well if you have, um, if you want to see some of the other products they offer. So anyway, thank you so much for um, joining me today. And if you have any questions, like I said, leave them below. I'd be happy to, to answer what I can. Um, I do have some affiliate links down below. It doesn't affect the price you pay. If you order through those links, it just gives me a small commission, but certainly no um, pressure from me to do that. Um, but if you do, thank you. And that's about it. So have a great rest of your day.